So who are we? We are sustainable design engineers and we study at Aalborg University in Copenhagen, Denmark. And what our master is about is a uh, focus on sustainability, both economic, environmental and social. And what we do is like we look at the transformation of systems or products to become more sustainable. So it's a study, it's a behavior around a technology to develop sustainable products, systems and services. And to do this, we study the social technical uh, systems and we'll just talk a bit, about, a bit about some of the tools we use later. And we have some technical competences from our bachelor and then we have creative design skills. So that's why we are very visual in the way we uh, do stuff. Yeah? We can go to the next, Ines. Yeah. So, in the beginning, um, I'll tell you how like, we work by something called PBL, which is problem-based learning. And that means that we, when we go out to an organization like this, we're not supposed to just take the first and the best problem they give us. It's about analyzing all the different uh, possibilities and then kind of seeing like what is the important thing to solve right now. Um, and a method we used for this is like in the beginning we did a lot of interviews and we worked in the workshop, we went to the communities and we talked to locals. Then we made a, an affinity diagram, which is it's kind of hard to see the pictures here, but this is like a huge diagram with I think nine different problem areas, which is the blue one, and then all the color posters is like something relating that problem and then the notes is quotes from Nick or Gandhi or Edgar or the community that's relating to this area. So we did this to kind of like see what do the organization talk about a lot. Maybe it's not like what they think they want us to solve because in the beginning when we came they wanted us to train technicians or they were really like focused on oh you could do like uh, this part and but in a way like we'd like to work it with it but we also thought it was important to find our own path. So it's kind of hard to see, but this is training technicians and this is like lack of a clear project process. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, different uh, quotes from Nick and Gandhi and different interviews we did. So that's why we started doing this, uh, focusing on this problem area also, because we thought it was important to have a project guide before you could start um, tackling some of the other solutions and in the guide, you could then give other volunteers in terms of possibility to check some of these problems and solve them later on. So what we do is like we make an actor network, which is like we map out all the actors, human and non-human, and then we analyze which relations there is to, uh, between them and where we can make a difference. So it's just very short introduction to how we work. Yeah, next. Yeah. <laughs> and an important part is like co-design and user-centered design in our education and <laughs> What is user-centered design is like watching or seeing the user as an expert in using something. So us as engineers doesn't necessarily know how people want to use it or how they have like the skills to use it. So you see the user as an expert. And co-designing is what we try to do in this project by involving Eva and Andy and Nick. This is Nick. <laughs> um, and co-designing is like the next step of user-centered design where user-centered design is people tell you what they want but in co-designing, they're actually a part of doing the design and a part of like the selection processes. Uh, and yeah, who was our co-designers in this process? And it was these three people. What we do is like we make a facilitation space, as you can see over here, and then we create workshops where we invite them to um, map out different areas or design different solutions. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I guess that you have to come up here. <laughs> So okay, here we have the first workshop we developed with the, with the Nick, Eva, and Gandhi. Those were our co-designers in all this process. Um, well, Nick need, need, need to leave uh, in the end, as you know. Uh, we involved Eva and Gandhi in almost all the process. And uh, what we did in this first workshop, uh, we were there in the office with the um, like a, a wall where we wanted to put all the the process that they were following for the community project uh, process that they had. Uh, we and uh, like what we did is like uh, letting them write uh, like the, the main steps as you can see in the first picture, and then they put it in common, and we wrote in a small piece of cardboard 
so we can uh, glue, not glue, stick them to the wall and make this uh, first process with the green broccoli that we call it but it's like the, the main step on, the, on that process and then we also gather some of the actors that Camila explained it uh, so each step on the process had the, the actors involved uh, also uh, surrounding, like uh, knowing uh, what actors were in those steps and also we um, we write down in the light bulbs the different problems that we saw. Well, we, when I'm talking with it's like uh, the, the co-design group, <laughs> like uh, Eva, Gandhi and Nick, but they were the, the, the ones uh, knowing better the process and the, the problems. So we just like uh, create that uh, atmosphere of, okay, now I, I know this is the problem, I'm going to put it there. And the yellow bulb was the, the things that they thought needed uh, like less uh, Improve improvements. Thank you. The gray ones were, were like, oh, it's OK, but needs maybe some improvements. And the black ones were like, oh, this is a disaster. We need to change it from zero. And yeah, I think that was most of the things. So what we get out from the workshop was like a first rough design of the process that they are following within the communities which they didn't have it in the first uh, yeah, in, the, in the organization and that was our first design then like uh, giving them the responsibility of having this first draft in the project and yeah that's it then we had another workshop so since we had the first uh, design uh, that was the design the current process that they are following right now and then we had to design the ideal process with them so then we took uh, all together the main step and put it uh, in the ideal way they should all in the ideal order that they should be and also we as you can see there are like some new some new one some new steps that we renamed uh, in order to like complete the whole process and uh, as a difference between the first design and the second one you can see there is a lot of actors involved in the first in, like, in the first design in each step we map all the actors that were involved involved but in this time we only wanted to have like one responsible uh, having this uh, mapped then we brainstorm uh, well, we, we did a morphology scene, which is like a, um, we brainstorm about like how, which form should it have, uh, which, um, how do you sh uh, share knowledge in between when you have to uh, interact with this, uh, uh, the design. So we did, we draw, uh, we brainstorm ideas or how, like for example, one idea could be like be an app, the way that you share uh, or you design this, uh, the second design, the second project plan would be in an app or we uh, in a board game, stuff like that. So we ended up like uh, making uh, a lot of ideas and separate them in different, which I can't. Uh, so after we made the morphology scheme and chose the concept, yes, yes. we then said to Andy and Eva, we need to draw this as well. So we can understand what it actually means other than just a few things on paper. So when you chosen this form that it should be a board game, how should it be used? And then you have to talk to people around it with all the rest of the features that we selected. Um, so we have these five uh, concepts. We have the Windowly, we have the Mitinga, we have the no Mitinga. <laughs> no, our path to glory. Our, uh, our path to glory, and this is no Mitinga, right? So, and that is the intro app. Yeah. That's the name of the. That's the name, name of, of the concept. Don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> that's me then. So after having all these concepts, we needed to make like a rating system to select which one was going to be our concept, and so we placed them like that, like all the names, and then some of the uh, criteria that we wanted them to have, like, uh, no, the demands. No, the criteria, yeah. And uh, so we ranked them, 
having uh, the current system as a like as a reference. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the current system as a reference, and then we were able like to run the the, the rest of them with Gandhi and Eva in the rooftop as we can see. In the coming <laughs> sun. Yeah. It was the best <laughs> meeting. Yeah. This one. Is it okay now? Yeah. So as you can see, when we were sitting up there with the computers and having a, a good time also run while ranking. But the thing that we came up uh, with is like uh, we had two concepts that had the same rating. So yeah, uh, we needed to decide what to do with that result. And we ended up merging both concepts because we saw that there were some weaknesses that can be completed with the other concept that has a higher a score on that one. So we wanted to make like a concept that had almost all the ideas that we were like, uh, looking for. Maybe you get some examples of the criteria. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. For example, uh, I don't know the, uh, I cannot see here. Oh. The responsibility, like the evaluation. Evaluation. Even. <laughs> <laughs> um, feasibility for feasibility. How feasible is going to be like the, the to have this concept to make that concept in within the time frame that we had, how it was going to be able like for them to further develop that concept. Um also accessibility the, yeah, having the also the um, I don't know, the evaluation yeah. how how are they going to be able to evaluate the process in the in the project. I don't know we have that no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's just, just, yeah so we, yeah. Uh -huh. So from taking the idea of we want to merge a lot of things, then we have to figure out uh, how is it actually going to look like when we finish this product that it actually is. So we just started on drawing a lot of maps, a lot of roads. Is it going to be squares? Is it going to be a beehive? Is it going to be an actual road? Or is it, in this case, going to be an electrical cord that we like to do that for the start? And then afterwards, we do all the steps that we found with Nick and Gandhi and Eva on the cord and try to see, like, do we have to go back sometimes? And how, how does it actually look when we put it out? And, and do we want these? feedback loops to re-evaluate in a more iterative way. We like that, so that's what we ended up doing. So we showed it to the other guys. This is what we're thinking about doing right now. Let's explain you the process, because they weren't part of this part up here, where, they, where we drove the whole road itself. But they were part of, of selecting all these steps. So we ended up saying, okay, this is how it looks now. Do we need to change it? Do we need to, to move it around? Because this has a completely different shape and form than our second work. So this, after that, we put it into Illustrator form. And as you can see here, there's a lot of crossing and editing on the, the small A4 prints that we did uh, to, to then also like does that feedback loop, does it look like a feedback loop, or does it look like I have to go down here before, and all those things that we need to edit before we print the big post. So there's three iteratives, or prototypes, as you will, of our concept. Yeah. Can you hit the lights? Is I think no. Okay, because I want to show you the poster. But yeah, what we wanted to create was this community uh, guide and we wanted it to be very illustrative because like Gandhi made a, a spectacular <laughs> right so we want to make something that could be visible and could be like hanging in the window office at all times so what we did is like we divided the poster into two different areas one is the community A which is the community process guide what, what Windate does from the contact community is they uh, remove a turbine and finish the project and then we have responsibilities, which is more like a 
tool to uh, facilitate different processes. But first, I'll tell you about the community aid. And it's divide, divided into seven different main steps, which is like start a project where you contact the community, then you have need assessment in that community, you have official projects when you agree that you'll do a project here, then you do preparation with the community, then you end also of course in the workshop where all of you have built the turbine right now, then you have the installation in the community where you do workshops also with the community members. And then you have a Hunda Directiva follow-up, and uh, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that's like a group in the community like lo of locals that Windaid makes to kind of communicate with them. So they are responsible for the whole community, this, this group of like three, is it three people? Four, uh, four. four people. So community, uh, I mean Windaid uh, communicate with Hunda Directiva, so they follow up with them and see if the community is independent or if they know how to, for example, like uh, maintain the turbine and then by the end they either remove the turbine because uh, the community all of a sudden got electricity from the state or uh, for some other reasons or they sign a contract with the community and I don't know if it was if we agreed that they could keep the turbine or not but yeah but okay so that's the seven main steps and within the main steps with some the round circles we have uh, minor steps so I'm not going to go into that, but if you want to look at it afterwards, you can just we'll leave it here for a little bit. But okay, so the idea is that we have these uh, interactive uh, pieces. So every time you start a new community project, you have a wind turbine and you write the name of the community on it. And then you like start the project and then you can use this as a facilitating tool in the Monday morning meetings that all the uh, Monday team members have, the people who are here all the time. And then like as you uh, go through the process, then you like contact a community and then you set parameters and so on. And then once you get down here, you define a community responsible. And here I put an example with Scandi. And then you continue through the process. So you always know where in the process is this specific community right now. So the idea is that you can kind of have like all the projects on this poster that Windate is doing right now, so you can use it as a, a analytic tool to also see like, okay, we have a lot of wind turbines in the Hundak Directiva follow-up, and why is that, like, what should we do to actually finish some of those projects so they're not all stuck in the same um, area. So it's both like to show or create transparency here at the house, also for new volunteers, but mostly to give Windate a tool to see like, okay, where do we have to do something different because all the wind turbines are like, stacking up this specific task, so we have to uh, make something change. And this part is like uh, more like responsibilities within a week. Let's say, for example, next week you're going to Playa Blanca, so you have a wind turbine that's with Playa Blanca, and then you have uh, puts in your bell on, and all the tasks he is in, in uh, what is called, he's Church. responsible for. So he has to buy the bus tickets, for example, he has to arrange the transport, and then in that way all the team members know what to do, and it's kind of visible for other team members also who's doing what. And the batteries, these are made so like both you and other team members, they can write problems here. If you find a project you think could be cool, that when they does. And then you can put it up here, and then people can kind of choose it. And like for example, Eva, she's working with security right now, so she's the ice cream, and right now she is confirming so she has to get uh, funding for security shoes, and then she has to confirm with Nick and uh, add to shopping list. So that's like kind of an example. And now Martin will show you the PDF. Yes, we also have PDF. You can go over to the PDF. Yeah. So this is, can they turn on? this is uh, one concept uh, that we merged with the PDF, so both are together. Yeah. Yes. So this is uh, an interactive PDF. I don't know if you made or had an interactive PDF before. The, the cool thing about that is that it's clickable. And we can write stuff in it. So when you download it, you'll be able to rewrite some of this stuff. So if you define installation as one thing, and we define it as another thing, you can rewrite our definition to fit the current definition of the thing. So if we go to, let's take that one, Okay, right, so now we're down in the in the in the minor step, and let's set the community responsible. We wanted uh, Gandhi to be it down here, and it's 
so the reason has to stay to stand there and then say, okay, so the reason for for the group to set a community responsible is to be a contact person with the actual community and he has to follow the process more carefully than other team members. Oh, however we're gonna describe it in more uh, what do you say more official terms. It's also going to have like links to the to the drive that they that we can use. So if there's any forms that we need to to fill out, like the initial uh, evaluation is probably going to have a form which is saying this is the things we have to go through when we make an evaluation. So this is kind of like a tool which would not only describe the things that that is set on the poster itself. But it's also going to be a tool of which you can click into to the Google Drive documents. So it's organizing the Google Drive without being in the Google Drive. Yeah. So it's also going to be like a video. video. Like a, a, a <coughs> made earlier in the some of the processes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not done. At all. It's not done. Yeah. It's we need to fill it out. <laughs> um, yeah. And now we need you with your phone. <laughs> Wait, that was the last Wait. slide? Ah, last slide. Why is this in mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. So what we want to get with the, all this project is to create a structure within the, the, the organization to create also more transparency as you are going to be like you can access, uh, easily access to all the documents or you, you are going to be able, especially the interns, to be like had, had an easier uh, way to these uh, documents there in the organization because right now it's quite difficult to find. Uh, also have clear responsibilities within like as we can see also I'm coming up with uh, the poster. Uh, more independency from volunteers and interns, that's one of the things that we uh, wanted also us to to be aware of that he has a lot of Tasks about the team and also maybe Gandhi, and he wanted to like spread more than those tasks and make like uh, the volunteers and interns more independent in that sense, and also create ownership over over the projects, um, as we did also like for example for designing with Tela and Gandhi, and uh, a way of personalize what we already done that they put part of themselves into what. We have that. So it's also the battery, the project yes. you can do. Yeah. You can uh, write your own here. And I don't know if I'm missing No, it's no. not. Okay. <coughs> Next, send the quiz. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the, yeah, to make a mistake without them. Yeah. So let's go to Kahoot. Yeah. Oh. You need a phone? Phones, you need okay. a phone? Everyone with a phone? Everybody with a phone? Yeah, I have a phone. Somebody doesn't have it? Do we need the... You need to have one? The camera or what? Do you want mine? Okay, oh, I have you one. can have mine. We, we have to go to Kahoot? Huh? We have to go yeah, to Kahoot. So you go to uh, kahoot.it. <laughs> okay. Yoo-hoo! Kahoot! It's not in Play Store? It's Kahoot! <laughs> Kahoot! Just use it. And then when you are there, it will ask you a code and then you will put the game pin. And then you will You can be original with your name. Yeah, oh, fact, say it now. Sandwich boring. Someone needs <laughs> boring. I have a little phone if it is. Everybody has a phone. Okay. No, Rosa, no. Where's my mom? She's not here. She's on the phone. Who's 3 8? Teresa. 3 8. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? it? What is it? What is it? What is it? it? What is it? What is it? What is Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Now put your name or nickname. Mr. Vacation. I am in. You're in. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, who? Ready. Oh, is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is not ready. That is so much low. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of just thinking of that. Okay. Wait. Sounds like Eva. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You got 20 seconds to answer, and the quicker you answer, the more points you're going to get. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's going to show up on your phone just as soon as this is gone. Yeah, and then now. <laughs> <laughs> then you have need to answer what your phone. Oh, I get it. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Up in the top. Where is it now? Oh, oh. The uh, song is funny. What is the question? Mamma mia. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. 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 Stop, you're winning. Stop. What? Oh my god. <laughs>